Hello and welcome back to my Minecraft Ice and Fire Let's Play series, A Fateful Adventure, Episode 7. <laughs> In the last episode, we, uh, well, last episode was actually two videos, part one and part two. Um, so in the last video, episode six, part two, specifically, spoiler alert, we finished our mission in killing dragons and then we hatched our lovely new dragons right here. So just to recap here, we have a bronze dragon, a female, it is a bit hungry, we'll feed it in a second. And then we have a fire dragon over here. Well, both of those are fire dragons. Um, unnamed, of course, also female. And then we have a ice dragon, which is a male, which it's a bit that I can't see any spots on the wings. So that doesn't really make sense, but I don't know. Um, but what we will be doing today is name them. So I picked from, hush, hush, hush. I picked from the uh, names that you guys commented in the last episode. So thank you very much for all the feedback and suggestions. Of course, I couldn't pick everyone. So for those of you who did not get your name picked, don't worry, you'll get a shot in the future. But anyways, let us get going. So the bronze one, uh, 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 yep, yep, okay, the, that is already melted. I took this from, oh dear, that's, that's way off, hold on. <laughs> There we go, now it looks right. So this one is from Atalanta's, she suggested, she suggested Meltiv, and I really like that for the bronze dragon. So here you go Meltiv, you now have a name right there. Absolutely love that one. And for the ice dragon, I also picked hers that says Frost. And Dark Prince actually suggested Frosty, but because the ice dragon is a male, I feel like Frost uh, that's not it. <laughs> Frost looks, uh, sounds a lot better for a male dragon. So, there we go, we have Frost. Now, for the red fire dragon, I picked the name from Dark Prince, suggesting Flare for the fire dragon, and I really like that. So there you go, we now have dragons, we now have names for all of our three dragons. We have Meltiv, we have Flare, and we have Frost right there. Sorry, that, that comment was in the way. You, you, you can see it now. Frost and Flare and Meltiv. Lovely! Now we, in this episode, will actually be making something for these fellas today. So, if you can't tell, well, I don't think you've really seen the top of my base really, but I have done some work off camera here, flattening out some ground and removing a bunch of trees. And yeah, I came up with this right here. So we have the stone in the wall there with actually some wines already um, growing there. And then we have the trees here. I left some of the trees here by the edge here just to make like a kind of a wall type thing. And then over here, well, I kind of stopped here because I didn't think we would need any more space really. Um, so that is what we will be doing today. We will be sharing this place up. Hopefully nothing too fancy. Well. It could be very, very fancy, but we're not going to go too fancy here. We will keep it simple, add some water, add a little pond somewhere, um, add some vines, maybe add a couple of trees here and there, just so it's not this bare. Maybe add some more trees to the, to the edge here if I have any. So that is basically it. Just go into my nature chest and see what I have laying around. So let's go do that, shall we? Their home position is set. I would really love to let them wander. But that's not gonna happen because I did that and the wonder distance was set to three. Guess where I found this guy? By that tree. Does that does that look like three blocks to you? No? So yeah, that is buggy. P please fix that. <laughs> so yeah, that is that. But anyways, let us head over to the base. Hey Hippogriff, let's actually take him over there too. Because uh, why not? Why not? Let's head into the base and let's see what I have in my nature chest. Alright, what do I have here? Uh, we will actually also need a bunch of bone meal, so I do believe I have a bunch of bones. I'm definitely gonna grab a lot of wines. Wines? No, vines. Um, I got some sugar cane as well. To be honest, I could use some more sand, so I might go ahead and take some of that as well. Uh, where do I have bone? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I have plenty of bones. I have plenty of bones for this. Uh, do we have any saplings? Mm, one. <laughs> okay, maybe it's not trees we're gonna make. Maybe not. But you know what? This should be 
good right here, hopefully. And then, yeah, so that's the bone meal, sugar cane. Let me go fly with hippogriff over, grab some sand, and then we will begin. Because I do, uh, actually, do I have an extra water bucket down here? I didn't look for that. I want some more water down here. I don't, but I have an iron, so actually all we will really need is only one extra bucket. So that's fine right here. Let's go fill that with water, collect some more sand, and we should be good to go. Uh, do you have anything in you? No. Do I have anything? Oh. Oh yeah, that's the... Oh. Hmm. Well, yeah, that's right, Buckbeak. We are not done yet. Wait a second. Do we have any wither bones? Please tell me I have wither bones. Do I have any here? Because one thing I did not make in the last episode was the was the ice dragon. No, I don't have any. Ah, man. That's annoying. Okay, well, the ice... I basically wanted to make this beauty right here. Ice dragon bone sword. But that will have to wait. I don't have a... I was sure that I had... That I got more bones, but oh well. That's fine. That will just have to wait for another day. We do have with the scrolls and scroll, but okay, whatever. Uh, yes, let me get the sand and let us then spice that place up a bit with some bone meal and some ponds here and there. And I'm planning a waterfall as well. So yeah, let's get to work on that. Here is my sand collecting area. It should be safe from dragons, I think. Oh, is the sun already going down? That's way too fast. Way, way, way too fast. Okay, so yeah, this is my um, <laughs> my sand collecting area. Nothing too fast, fancy, but it's away from the base. Doesn't look too ugly. Well, it kind of does, but I don't see it, so I'm fine with it. Um, okay, that that was that. Now we can head back and begin the project. I suppose after uh, after sleeping. So let me get back to base, sleep. And then we'll get started. By the way, as you can see, I have a texture pack installed at Hippogriff. Stop. Okay, fine. <laughs> I have it. I have it. Not a texture pack. Sorry, a, a shader pack installed that makes things look a lot more fancy. Do you like the, it? The, 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 do you like to see it this way or just the vanilla standard textures? Let me know down in the comments below if I should use this more often in the series. Um, also, another reason why I like this spot is because of this very bare area right here. Makes it easy for, well, adult dragons, I guess, to to land. So this can kind of be our landing area. So if I clear out some of the grass and such, maybe. Um, I don't know, but I'm, I'm not going to do anything too fancy. I'm not going to do anything too fancy. How are you guys doing? Stage one, one day, so okay. They got to grow. Um, okay. So, they are a bit noisy. I think what I'm gonna do is just put a bunch of random vines here and there on this thing. So make it look like that, because that I think would look really, really cool. So something like this maybe. Run it down here, some here. You know, if we have some here as well, that's not gonna look too bad actually. So put some here. It's based just stuff like this that's gonna make it look a lot nicer. Of course, once it grows, it's gonna look a lot better over there. Um, you know what we could actually add? Let me just let me add a uh, let me add a infinite water source right away because we're gonna need that. So do that. Oh, come on. Because I'm thinking maybe making like a small little water channel thing coming out right here. And then falling into here, maybe, and then just let it be this organic feel, maybe, with cobblestone around it as well. Maybe a bit of that there, then make it go up a bit, and maybe... Uh, hmm. You know, that, that could be it. That could be it right there. We could also go a little bit this way, maybe that, although it's just a suggestion or an idea. So if we grab some more water... And keep that going. Something like that. And then put some here. I think that could look very nice. Just to spice things up a bit. 
like so. And then maybe put a bit of cobblestone right here. I'm not a builder, so if things look pathetic, it's on me. <laughs> I am not a builder at all. So if things look bad, well, you can blame me 100%. Uh, you know what? I want a vine right there. And here. And there. Yep. Oh yeah, look at that. That's how I like this to look. Uh, you know what? Let us make this expand this way as well a bit, maybe. Uh, we could make it go like this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I think this is gonna look. I think this is gonna look extremely good once this is done. Let's put some here. Actually, put this here. Grab that. And then just beat it all the way down. Yeah, like that. Mm-hmm. And then just add some cobblestone, maybe at the corners here. Make it look fancy. Maybe right here as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Something like that. Maybe let that go down one. And then add a thing here. And here. I like how this looks. I like how that looks. I like it. Maybe. Okay, that's a bit too much cobblestone, I feel like. I feel like removing that and removing that would be best. Let me just see if I have any stone laying around the base here. Let me just... Eh, where's my fly button? Let me take a look. Good news, I did in fact have some stone ready. So, put it like that. Yeah. Yeah, that, that can work, I think. I think that can work. And then remove this. And remove that. <laughs> yeah, I think that looks good. And remove that too. Okay. Cool. I like that. I like how that looks a lot. Now, this is not going to be the only water we add here. So I'm going to keep all of that in my inventory. Now, this looks a little bit bare. So what I was thinking was to do a bunch of this. A bunch of bone meal. Because... That adds a lot of grass. So add a bunch and then maybe smack a bunch, I think, maybe? Or definitely add it towards the edge here, because this is like a forest area. So yeah, let's add it. Let's add it towards the edge here. Let's just walk along here. Not add too much, but just follow the ledge here of the of the mountain and add add a bunch. Oh, these things spread like crazy. I might need to get rid of all of them on the island. Okay, and then I think maybe on the... Yeah, definitely need some more on the hill here. So let's add a bunch. Let's add a bunch to make the hill look very nice and green. And I do want to do more over here by this hill, actually. Right over here. But I do see this stone. We could make water come out here and then float down. But anyways, my main idea was to have water come through there, fall all the way down and make this into one big pond. So I think... We might want to do that. But anyways, before that, let us add a bunch of grass here on this hill. Just to make it look a lot nicer. Oh, I already used a bunch of bone meal, but that's fine. I can get a lot more from my traps where I get my meat and bones and leather. So I don't have to hunt. <laughs> okay. You know, I like that. You know, this, this shader is looking amazing. You know... Uh, lily pads. Do I have lily pads? I might not have lily pads. Hmm. I want lily pads. Okay, so here I'm going to add a bunch, but pointing on the block that is all the way in towards the dirt here. Just so it doesn't spread out too much. Because I think we might want to add some some random charred stone, maybe. I don't know. But to be honest, looking at this from above, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, add a lot more of the grass over here, on this area. Like here, up here, on the ledge. And towards in as well, more inwards. And doing here maybe? Yeah, here, definitely add a bunch here. Add a bunch there. Add a bit here. Break that. Yeah. 
yeah, I think this is looking pretty nice. By the tree. This adds a lot of flowers and a lot of grass, which changes up the area a ton. Whoa, this looks good. I love how this looks. We do need some more here, though, I think. So let's add more. Okay, now it's getting too dark. Let me sleep and we will continue in the day. Looking good so far. I think we need some more grass over here because I think it is a little bit visible that we went and only clicked once here. So yeah, like here, fill out some of the bare areas here where we waited a little bit too long with clicking the mouse. But I think that is going to be pretty good right there. Hopefully that's not too much, but I think this is good. I like it. Okay, so I do need something from my base, but I think first we should remove all of the grass that is down here, because we're not going to need this here. Well, technically the water is going to do it. Oh, that is going to be, this is going to be a lot of water to fill out. Let's see. If I added the water, where should it come out of? I'm thinking here or here, maybe here actually. Like that little small incline or, well, hole that I just made. So it's like the water just falls down here and then maybe follows a guided channel down this way. So if it like comes here and then give me, give me my dirt. Like through here, down, 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 and then runs into there. I might need to guide it a few bit. Hey, buddy. Get out of here, please. Get. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Okay, so if it goes, and then it reaches here, and then it goes down. You know, it might just redirect itself. Looking at this. It, oh, stupid tree. Okay, the tree is not stupid, but man. <laughs> okay, it actually, it actually redirected itself pretty well. I'm going to take this water again because I wanted to uh, make some new paths. I think I'm gonna remove this, making it go a little bit more like that. And then here, that is way too in line so let's do that instead and i think that this might make it go there let's take a look let's see how this is gonna look playing with water folks playing with water let's see okay it does not use this at all i wish it would go a little bit more but okay it still goes a lot but what I can also do is, I guess, add another. No. Hmm. I don't like that it's so chumpy like that. Let me develop this a little bit more. Hold on. All right. I think I got it covered. Now you can see the water is coming down here. And what I basically... Okay, to be honest, I don't remember exactly what I did. <laughs> I did something, but as you can see, once the water removes itself, we'll be able to see that I first of all changed the location of the water output from the, from here to there. So I'm gonna just block that up. So the water comes now out here, goes down here. As you can see, where there's uh, stone, I removed some dirt, so you can see where I kind of dug in. Both to make it, both to navigate it better, but also to hide, like here. That was uh, to make it go down, but also somewhere to, I believe it was here, to hide, you know, um, the bare flat side. Like if I were to place it here, that, to, to stop that basically. So that is why I placed it up here and done some stuff. And now it looks pretty cool coming down here. So that is that done. I, I don't really think I need to do anything else to it. I like how it just flows down more like this naturally. I think I'm going to add some more bone meal around it just to add some more grass around here. And then, of course, I'm going to have to fill all of that up. I'll do that. Um, 
Well, not next episode or off camera. I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna power. I'm gonna power. Blah, blah, I'm gonna power. <laughs> I'm gonna power it. I'm gonna pause and then do it and then show you the result. And let's see if I have any lily pads laying around. So be right back. You know, it's actually pretty cool where I can just pick up and then I'm pretty sure pay place and then it just equals it out all the way over to the other side. That is so cool. Like that. So that's a trick to remember. I don't know if it will do it here. Yep. And I'm pretty sure that is pretty much equalized. Cool. Sleepy time. All right, here we are. And it looks pretty cool. Get out of here, that bush. It bushes are not allowed. Okay, so uh, I have some lily pads. So that's good. I'm gonna add a few. Not too many, but a couple just to make it look nice. Ah! Okay, so the water is obviously not good right here. Uh. Hmm. You know what? I need to disable the shader pack to do this. Okay, so I have no idea what is going on. It was like I could... Like... It's like when I point at the ground, it does it. But when I don't point on the ground, but on the water source, then it does it. So, yeah, that's that's a bit odd, I will admit. But, uh, oh well, it works now. Alright, so I like how that looks. Let's get rid of the seed. Let's get some more bone meal as well. And let us put stuff around this thing not too much again not too much just on the edge and to make it look a little bit nicer around the pond they can go bathe in it if they want i don't know but it's gonna look cool like that yeah i like how that looks a nice pond over there and i do think that i might add a mini pond over here like dig this in a little bit and then put one right here and then add some sugar cane to that. That will work right there, I think. So just fill this in so it looks a little bit nicer. I can leave it like that. Eh, like that. Uh, now I just need to add some more water to it. So if I can just snag that. Yep. And then just fill this in. Put some sugar cane around it. So just fill this out and once again using the same strategy all the way over to here and la boom perfect now we can take from the center here and fill these up and i think then i'm going to add a few sugar cane over here so uh yeah we can replace I don't know if I want to replace all of this dirt with sand, to be honest. Because... Hmm. Let's see how it looks. Let's see how that looks. Let's add a couple more. I don't want all of it to be sugarcane. Maybe. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Let's grab the sugarcane. Let's add it and see... How it looks. To be honest, I like that. Now I just gotta grow and to be honest, it's like, eh. Get rid of that. Just to have some spacing in between it, making it look a little bit better. And take this and of course bone meal it. There we go. And behind it and around it. Yep. That looks really nice. <laughs> now I wish I lit lived up here in a hut like I don't know. <laughs> now, the final bit I think we are gonna do to this place will be to add, I grabbed my charred uh, cobblestone and charred stone, and what I think will be the plan is to add random spots around here with charred cobblestone and charred coal. Um, we can get rid of this now. And then maybe add a huge, not a huge, but a larger concentrated amount here. Um, are they hungry, by the way? Uh, they are a little bit hungry. They can use some food. Nom 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 nom. You don't need food. That's at least good. But yeah, I think I'm gonna make a bunch of random holes here and there, and then 
we will fill it in with charred stone and charred cobblestone and see how that looks. All right, I have added a bunch of holes in here. Not a bunch, hopefully not too many, and hopefully it looks kind of organic. I also think I want some in here, just random put in. So maybe one here, maybe one here in the middle of that. Maybe one all the way over here, and in here. Maybe one here, something like that. <laughs> And then just switch between the charred cobblestone and charred stone just because they look different and Yeah, I think it could add some interesting um, Maybe texture or something so just switch between them and Hope that it looks okay uh, Put that here here. I'm thinking like kind of a, like a path thing maybe like a path they have walked on or something from their fire I don't know something like that to be honest I think it will look better if I add more oh missed a spot and missed another one how does that look I need to fill these out too of course that will probably help And just, yeah, like that. How does that look? I need a stable view, Hippogriff. Or, I keep calling him Hippo, Hippo, Hippogriff, even though his name is Buckbeak. It is a little bit hard to see, but that could... Yeah, I think I'm gonna add a few more over here. And then one in this specific spot. I saw a spot. I saw a spot. I want one right here somewhere. Right here. Right here. Eh. There we go. Yeah, so I think that and a few more over here. Maybe one here and another here. Boom, boom. Like that. And maybe one here. Uh, yeah, yeah, right there. And then maybe one last over by here. Yeah, I think that's gonna look okay. Um, oh dear. Now oh, this is happening again, isn't it? Oh yeah, it is. Oh yeah, it is. Some sort of bug, I don't know exactly what it is. But it appears sometimes. Um, yeah, I think that looks okay. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. If I should add more, I might add more. I'm not sure, I think I'm gonna add a little bit more. Um, cut the recording here and then be right back. Uh, after adding some more, I think. Because I feel like... We can use a little bit more of them. So, yeah. I'm gonna do that and be back. guys I believe we are done now I was recording this with the replay mod and I'm not sure how much of it got recorded but the replay mod crashed on me so I don't know how much of it I got I know replay mod have been a little bit eh when it comes to this series so I don't know but anyways I don't know what you have seen yet but here comes the big reveal Oh yes, I love how that looks, especially with the shader pack. Um, but yeah, here we have the path. Um, you can't really see it in nighttime, so ah! 
Whoa, hey buddy. Get out of here. Plus, it's a little bit dangerous, so we're gonna wrap this up. Uh, well, not wrap it up. I'm gonna sleep, and then you can see how this place looks in the daylight, because I have done some stuff. Improved the path quite a bit, but here, if we just fly up, as you can see here, um, this area here is a lot more concentrated with the magma and the charred cobblestone and stone and the cobblestone as well. Which, by the way, that was Atlantis' idea. She was like, add depth! So I did that depth. There you go. Um, but here we have the path. It has a, it has less magma stuff to it. Hopefully it looks natural enough. Hopefully I'm not gonna add any to near the pond. I think this is pretty good. Add some cool texture. And of course I had to add it to the wall over there. I think that looks really cool. We got some more charred stone in there. Um, I do see one thing I might want to change though. I don't like this one just being exposed. So I think I'll add it like that instead. Yeah, I like that. And maybe we'll add some in the water as well. Like that, just to give off some light and some effect. I don't know if these actually do give light. So yeah, that's, that's something like that. Yeah, I think I like this actually. I... Okay, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but I think that is about it for this project. Frost, Flare, and Meltiv. Welcome to your new home, friends. Uh, so how old are they? Four days. They're a little bit... How dare you? Excuse me? It's shot at... That's it, flare. Are you okay? That thing took a hit. Oh dear. Okay, um... Hopefully... She's gonna heal. Uh... Yeah, it looks... Yeah, she is regen regenerating. That's good. Wow. Okay. She's her too. And her. Or him. I don't know why they hurt. I don't, things shouldn't have attacked them. I haven't seen anything anyway. But anyways, guys, that will be it for this episode. I really hope... I hate that bug too. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't yet. And enable those notifications, of course. And I just see a spot where it would fit perfectly with a slappy Rooski. Alrighty. But yes, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to do all that cool stuff. Helps me out a ton. Also, if you are already subscribed and would love to help even more, head on over to my Patreon page. Link down below in the description. Also, follow me on Twitch and follow me on Twitter. And join my Discord server, which, by the way, just recently got a refresh. Not a refresh, more like a revamp. I knocked the entire server down pretty much and redid a bunch of stuff and it looks really really cool now so if you want to check it out be sure to join my discord server link down below and join the community but anyways guys that's gonna do it for this episode i hope you enjoyed and i hope to see you next time just want to add some more details to this like so i think that's gonna be good uh maybe that was a little bit too much maybe just uh, do that and then put the out there yep that's gonna be it <laughs> <laughs> for this one. Oh, hey, Hippogriff, get back here. But yes, that's going to do it for this one. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.